Hi, I'm Kerry. Uh, I'm the host of Best of Us in Retirement. What I try to do is share my life experiences with you. I'm a retired financial advisor. Uh, I've been retired since 2005. I'm also a real estate agent. I have a YouTube channel that draws from my experience on investing called Best of Us Investors. But this channel, I just want to share my life experiences and, and hopefully you can learn from some of the things I've done right and some of the things I've done wrong. I had an experience this week that I wanted to share with you. Um, I, as a real estate agent, uh, I what I'm really involved is in is developing a neighborhood. So I have these 46 lots that need to be developed. And in order to help them move along, I build spec homes. And I have what is called a HELOC loan, a home equity line of credit that I draw upon to pay the builder as the house is being built. And then I sell them for anywhere between a thirty to forty thousand dollar markup on the house and and that's what i'm doing so uh i sold one i paid off my heloc loan um it had a, a limit of about one hundred and sixty five thousand dollars on it and it's secured by the, my house which is is paid off so i went to the bank and i said uh i want to increase the amount of my heloc loan from one hundred and sixty five thousand dollars to uh five hundred thousand and my house is worth about seven hundred and fifty thousand so i didn't think there'd be any much much of an issue so uh they said, okay, um, let, us, let us look at it and we'll get back to you, but, but we need your last two years tax returns. Well, uh, I gave them the copy I had of the 20 and then I showed them the, the or, or I downloaded a PDF and sent it to them on the 2019. Well, in 2019, my YouTube channel wasn't up. I had, in 2018, I had finished being paid off for my business that I had, uh, had sold. So in 2019, the only income I had was Need and I's Social Security and our required minimum distributions. And as a result of that, we didn't pay any income tax that year. Now, as I said, then um, my, my YouTube channel kicked in. And so I did in 2020. So they looked at those two loans or those two tax returns and they turned me down. Uh, and I said, well, wait a second, you see the money that I got coming in from the sale of this home and from the YouTube channel and the Patreon and all that, uh, you see I'm making money. And they, they said, no, our underwriters only, only look at your tax returns. And so I thought, wow, okay, well, uh, I'm okay. I'll, um, uh, I'll, I'll get the money elsewhere that if I so, so choose to need it, but I can build the one house on the 165000 that I have. And so I got to thinking, as a retired person, you need to go get yourself a HELOC loan before you retire. Now, why would you do that? Well, the... the Maybe you're not in a position like me where you want to build a house, but maybe you have an emergency financial need, okay? Maybe your children, your child, your grandchild gets in an automobile accident and they aren't going to get the insurance for a while and, and they need a loan of $10,000 uh, for a matter of months and, and they come to you and what do you do? You reach into your pocket and you pull out a piece of plastic and you put it on your credit card. Well, depending upon your credit rating, that's going to cost you anywhere from 17 to 23 percent interest. That's not a good thing. That's not good at all. Or maybe you say, well, I'll go to my brokerage account and I'll take out a margin loan. Well, there you're going to pay somewhere. If you got a, over a million dollars in account, you could probably get it for 3.5%. But unless you do, if you have 100000 in it and you want 10000 you're going to pay somewhere around 8 to 10% on margin on a margin loan uh and then you're 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 subject to in fact if the market should crash 
the brokerage company has the right to sell your stock to bring you back in line. And you might not want that to happen. It's a temporary drop in the price of stock and you just want to ride it out. So my point is, I, I, I said something about this in another video where I said that you, you should get into either um, flipping homes or or, uh, and use, use your home as collateral in a HELOC loan. And one of you wrote me and said, my wife would never allow us to put a, another mortgage on our house since we've paid it off. Uh, rethink that. Um, it doesn't cost anything. A HELOC loan doesn't cost anything. I think she told me once you get over $250,000, you pay half of closing costs. Well, then don't go over $250,000. But you need to have that line of credit available to you if you get into an emergency or if you decide you want to go on a nice family vacation and 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 you run up some bills of of 10 or $20,000 on a on a family vacation and you put it on the plastic and you can't pay it off and they put you on some friendly monthly payments and you know it's you you've got a $10,000 bill and they say well you can pay only $45 a month <clears throat> they're going to eat you alive at 20% interest so my point in this video is if you've got a good credit rating and you've got a house that is paid off you've got two assets there that you need to 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 put in, in a closet somewhere called a HELOC loan that says, if I need it, I can get it, and I can take care of our situation without having to use a credit card. Truly, credit cards are convenient, but credit card companies are predators. And a, a predator is someone who sets a trap for you, and when you fall into it, they feed on you. And that's what a credit card is. So understand that and use it as it works for you um, and as a, a substitute for carrying cash in your pocket and, and being mugged and robbed. Um, use that credit card as it should be used and pay it off every 30 days when it comes due. And if you build a, a good standing with them, they're going to be good to you. But if you make a mistake or if you get caught in a predicament, you need a HELOC loan. H, home equity line of credit. Go to your banker and ask them. Usually it's prime rate plus like 0.75%, which would put you somewhere at maybe 3.75% right now. And that's, that's, a, good, that's a good interest rate. Uh, at the same time, then, as I'm saying, if then you have that, that, that's to keep you in fake case you get into a predicament. If you then want to uh, turn it into a means of generating more income, that's when I was talking about you have a son in law or a son who you want to get into a business of flipping homes or uh, some other short term investment and they do the work and you put up the money. And if it's a good, solid investment and you've done your work and you know it's good, it gives you an opportunity to supplement your retirement income. Um, I just did a video, I hope you watched it, on how Facebook wants to supplement your retirement income by making you a creator. And that is, if you and your wife like to travel, and are, or, or you and your husband, I should assume that there are some women watching this station or this channel as well. Uh, you might want to get a video camera and, and share your travel experiences. And go, or I, the video I just did showed you that Facebook is going to be willing to pay you for your content. Well, okay, if you need some front money, a HELOC loan is a good place to get it, knowing that the revenue will be coming later and you'll be able to pay off that loan. So look, Google it.
I, I saw something recently on TV, and someone was asking Gary Vanderberg, uh, Vanderchuck uh, some questions, and they said, well, where do you get all this? How do you know all this, Gary? And he said, well, it's a secret I have, and I, but I'll share it with you. Anytime I want to know anything, I just go to my computer and I type in www.google.com. And this bar comes up and I ask it a question and it gives me an answer. I don't do that. I don't happen to do that. I have a phone here and um, on my phone, I have a little bar that uh, has a, a microphone on it. And I just push that microphone and I ask her any question I choose to ask. And she immediately gives me an answer. Wow. That's that's Google.com. Anything you want to know, if anything, Google's got the answer. You don't need to go to the library and go through the, what was that called? That card index we used to have to go through and then go find the book and then go to the index. And all you got to do is ask. Now, some of you have this uh, Siri or uh, Alexa in your home. And all you got to do is ask the box that sits over there. Anything you want to know. But explore the HELOC loan. Um, I think it is. it should be in everybody's investment or financial toolbox. Now, you might know that, um, um, who was it? Wells Fargo just recently canceled all of its HELOC loans. Why? Because it's for your convenience and they don't make much money off of it and they have to carry it on their books as a liability that if you ask for it, they have to give it. So don't don't bother going to to uh, Wells Fargo. I wouldn't go to them anyway uh, because of their shenanigans of a couple of years ago, where they were they were putting false accounts on everybody, and they had a, a very negative culture. Um, I wouldn't do business with them if 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 they opened their doors for free to me. Um, you know, screw me once, shame on me. No, screw me once, shame on you. Screw me twice, shame on me. So I wouldn't do business with them. But go to your banker. If you don't have a banker, go get one. They they don't last long. They move up the ranks. But tell them you want a HELOC loan and you want no closing costs and you want a prime uh, a, a rate of whatever prime rate is plus 0.75. And keep that in your quiver in case you need it. Because you don't know when you might need it. Okay? That's my tip for today. Uh, if you want some investment tips, uh, that's over on my other channel, Best of Us Investors. Uh, but subscribe, please. Change your mindset. Change your mindset. Retirement is, when you go into retirement, you're going into the locker room. You, and and you're, you're 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 meeting with the coach, and the coach is saying, "Okay, what did we learn in the first half that we can use in the second half to win at this game?" And that's what retirement is, and that's where you are. I hope right now, you're you're at the position where you're assessing what you learned in the first half and how you can use it to make the second half the best part of your life. Okay, again, I'm Kerry. Subscribe. We we'll need to get this channel up um, and get it monetized and turn it into an income source for me. So, and share it with your friends. Do that for me. Uh, you've got a long email list. Uh, all you got to do is, is copy that URL um, up in the, in the bar. Go to your email list and say, hey, this is something that uh, I think can ben you can benefit you. Take a look at it and see if Carrie can't help you with a good second half. Talk to you later.